The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Well, two days off, if you can call working 14 hours a day off uh, as fun, but it certainly has been. I'll share you uh, some of the stuff that we're, we're doing just to give you an idea. Uh, we have a uh, really interesting pattern, you know, this beautiful Gartley pattern completing in the DAX. Uh, last night, uh, you know, pretty much spot on, having a little bit of a rally this morning. If we take a look here at the FTSE, it's actually holding up pretty good, considering they have no idea what's going on with Brexit over there. But, you know, why should that be any different? So those are the ones that we're keeping a close eye on. Folks, we've had some big things happen yesterday, given the fact that what the Federal Reserve is doing, uh, if they are doing anything at all, but we'll have to uh, wait and see. Now, there, I just want to show you some comparative charts here. This is These are just charts, folks, diddly squat to do with uh, fundamentals at all. But one of the things that we focused on in the newsletter this past week, and it was very, very important from what we were looking at, and I'll share with you some of the ideas ideas. I mean, you know, sometimes these things work, sometimes they don't. But if you look at that NASDAQ, you can see the three drive to a top pattern that we had there. This is over a, uh, you know, five week period, you know, it acted pretty good. And you can see the ABCD structures, but you'll notice down in the bottom there where it says there should be a day in August where the NASDAQ drops 250 points. Uh, 150 was the largest drop that we had in July. Well, from the high that we made at 80.50 to the low that we made yesterday at 70.80 was 260 points. Not only that, but it was on July the 31st and not August 1st, and it was 10 points off. So this one certainly didn't work. I mean, my goodness, that's no good at all. But let me show you something else that's happening right now that I have think, think you should pay attention to. If we look at what was happening to the S&P as of uh, Friday, you'll notice there were three 1.618 ratios up there. And this is a four-hour chart, so you get to see almost all, well, you just see all of July and coming into the 29th of August. So you can see all those ratios coming together. You can see the three drive to a top pattern happening. So that's very, very important. And so what we'll do now is find a market that is looking at a uh, a kudos to you, Marshall. Thank you so much for the uh, the lovely gesture. You and Lynn uh, outdid yourself. Uh, John and I got a uh, really nice uh, uh, bottle of uh, two buck chuck, two buck chuck and some uh, Parmesan cheese. So uh, thank you very much. We got a lot of money left over, so we're having a good time. Okay, let's take a quick look. We looked at that S&P. Now let's look at the same chart, totally different. Okay, same pattern, totally different. And everybody's on the wrong side of this one too. So let's just get up here and take a quick look at it. This is the U.S. dollar index. And as you can see here, this is just like that S&P chart. It's a three drive to a top pattern. Everything's there. And not only that, with the Federal Reserve out there, everybody is bearish, the uh, euro and stuff. And, you know, they're right because the euro could literally, you know, go into a massive free fall in here if it doesn't hold this uh, 110 level. You know, we're looking at uh, prices in the euro that could take it down. Oh, my goodness. We've uh, – oh, shoot. I think we've had several of these that we've uh, – I, so I think I've got it up here. Did I hope I? I hope I did because it was that important. Oh, shut the front door and raise the rent. Oh, maybe not. Let's get it up here. I'll just show it to you here on the support page so you can see where we are. We're trading a tad under. Uh, we're still at the support. We're under where these prices are. You'll get this up and take a quick look at it. You'll see that that's where we are. Okay. Now, let's get into Ezoteria. We're going to take a look at hogs. Uh, Ruby, hogs are there at the 786, dear. If you want to buy them, this is it. Either uh, February 
or December, either one, they're within about a half a point. Uh, they should be spot on this morning. I don't know uh, if they are, but hogs are in a buy. They're right there, 786. Uh, you know, the old fundamental stuff that they're feeding us is still there, even though the hogs have dropped eight cents during the good fundamentals. So they, they're there. Rudy, you don't have to risk more than a buck and a half on that deer. So don't uh, don't risk any on any risk any less than that. That's for sure. But they're right at the 78.6 on the uh, both December and October hogs. Both of them are you know, right in the uh, right in the zone, you know, to uh, take a to, to keep a close eye on these. OK. All righty. Now, let's take a look at something just a little bit differently. Here's some of the things. The reason why I needed uh, three days off. Uh, I've had John Jameson here for a while. Seems like four years, but it's a little less than that. <laughs> anyway, um, you know, we're doing a lot of things. He's he's uh, he, he's really very, very uh, creative and uh, incredibly smart. But I just want to show you the type of work that he experiments with that is really, uh, it's really quite amazing. Here is, this is going back last month, okay? But this is what I wanted to uh, bring to your attention. He looks at charts a little bit differently by using price and volume a little differently. And what we're watching here is you see that little arrow. When, it, when that little arrow turns, uh, and all this is related to is price and volume, folks. It's a different way of looking at it that is uh, very unique, and it, it's quite good. And what we what we do is we look at periods uh, over a, like 10, 15 years, and what it does is it says – let me just give you a, a bird's eye view in, in a, a good old Italian language, okay? Basically, what it's saying is that uh, this looks like – the market is, oh, this is great. Color me happy. Hold on just a second, boys and girls. This is what we want to see. Hold on just a second here. Uh, oh, there we go. Uh, we got a really good, okay, get this up here in a minute here. It basically says, looking at the, looking at the gold over the past uh, 22 trading days during the month of uh, July, let's just take it you know, theoretically, that the probability of the market rallying on days – the trading days 14, 15, 16, and 17 are 70%. And if those days happen to line up with uh, a couple other factors that you that you look for, like volume and things like that, that puts the probabilities even higher. And if you see a woman in a black dress walking across the floor, uh, across the street from the Merck with wearing a white hat, that increases it also. I know I'm being a little bit facetious, but it's all those little things. And what it does is it puts probabilities in the favor of the trade working. Now, they don't work all the time, but that puts the probabilities in your favor. That's what it's all about it's all about risk control and that's the real uh, the real key so what was happening here is what we were looking at uh, in the market coming into this uh, last uh, week of july was a uh, you know, a factor of something um, that could happen dramatically, you know, whether it did or not yet. I don't know. It did sell off a little bit. But that's the kind of thing that uh, we've been doing. It's about 12, 14 hours a day. The good part is he's a lot of fun. He's really smart. And uh, we get along uh, pretty good. So what we do is we work for 14 hours. And then we go down and play poker for six hours, and then we sleep for two hours, and then start all over again. Well, we don't play poker. Okay, let's get right back to work here after we pay a few bills. Uh. If you're not currently using the Taz Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The Taz Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. 
Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the Task Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, we're back, and we are going to do a chart on the little piggies here, folks. We're going to take a look at Christmas hogs, December, uh, and we'll just show um, – the uh, th those colors are. Uh, <laughs> this is hard to explain, Terry. You can't do it over a, you know, you know, in a few minutes. It really take. You have to break it down each one of them. Basically, uh, what you're looking at is when you're looking at a chart like that, is you're looking at it from several different. Um, uh, uh, pictures. In other words, like if you're going into a baseball game, you, you, the baseball game is going to be the same whether you're looking at it from the home side at third base or the visitor side at first base. It's the same game, but the perspective of the game will be different because you're looking at it from a different. I'm going to show you the, uh, just a second, I'm going to get up the hog chart for uh, Ruby here to show you where we are. Th this is a real interesting chart for a couple of different reasons, folks. You'll notice here on the 23rd of July, we were making a 78% retracement of the high that we made back in May. That was also a 50% retracement from the high that we made back in April. Uh, the, the news is from China. They're still having supposedly a hog problem over there, but we've dropped, you know, 10 cents, almost, well, nine and a half cents a pound here. We're right at the 78 percent level down here uh, at 69 bucks. So uh, you buy it at 69, you stop it at 67.50. So you're going to have to risk about a hundred uh, buck and a half uh, on that. Uh, it, you know, we're over, we're one day away from the uh, the new moon, so that also should be. Uh, you know, should be important, but this should be the this should be really good support here, in the uh, in the hog. So we'll we'll see whether that is uh, going to happen or not. But hey, you know, there could have been support at 72, but it didn't stop there, and we are now down one, two, three, four, five, six. We're down six days in a row. That in itself makes it an outlier event. Yes, the the Chinese are using uh, substitute pork. It's it, instead of beyond beef. It's beyond pork, I guess. I don't know. Heck, who knows? Has anybody out there tasted that stuff? 
my guess is uh, if you put enough pickles and mustard and mayonnaise on it, it will probably taste okay. You know who we should try to test that stuff with is our good vegetarian, our our resident vegan, uh, Tom O'Brien would probably be able to test Beyond Meat to see how it goes. I watched uh, Jim Cramer uh, cooking the stuff uh, the other day out in the uh, uh, right there in front of the Nasdaq, and it you know it looked like hamburgers, but uh, I don't know. Yeah, Beyond Roadkill, <laughs> very good. You know. Bill, they actually have a recipe uh, for roadkill. So uh, uh, that's one thing we never did back in the old days in Terre Haute. We used to, we used to uh, do hunting. You know, my grandfather, uh, he hunted for pheasants and, and quail and stuff like that. But that was little stuff. We never went in for deer. Uh, well, we did hunt, we, we uh, hunt wild boar uh, when they were available there in southern Indiana for a while. Okay, let's move on here to a couple of other things that people are asking us about. Uh, the currency, folks, uh, if, these, uh, if this euro does not hold 110, you know, we're looking at 108, 105. And, and those are the long-term weeklies. All you have to do is look at the, the newsletter, and you'll be able to see it. By the way, folks, if you've never tried the newsletter 24-7, if you want to try it, now's the time. Because we are entering the, the month of August and September that is going to be, uh, I believe, really spectacular for a whole lot of different reasons. And it started that way uh, late July, so we're going to see if it's going to uh, continue. But there's going to be some really great trading opportunities. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, as we look out the window here at uh, the Broad Street here in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, 100 South Broad Street, one of those patterns. Oh, there's the lady in the black dress with the white hat crossing the street, and she's carrying a sign that says, look at the stuff that grows in the Midwest that's usually as high as an elephant's eye. And now she's disappeared into the building. Shut the front door and raise the rent. I wonder what she was talking about. Anyway, let's see if it's going to be Christmas Day. Anyway, the amount on uh, you don't have to risk very much there, that's for sure. Let's take a quick look at these bonds, folks. Uh, we're having a nice little pop here today, uh, taking out yesterday's high. Um, what we're seeing in bonds, folks, is nothing more than a snapback rally. This is uh, the the you know the the. the <laughs> You got to drop in interest rates. You only got one of, out of two, I guess. But frankly, uh, this is a bearish chart. You know, interest rates are going to go higher now. If we do run into, uh, and and we could, we certainly could. Let's just get this up here. I want to get this here to show you where we are. This is the weekly. But if we get these, uh, if we get these uh, little puppies up here above, uh, we get if we get the notes above one thirty. Uh, and there, that's three handles from where we are right now. That would put the bonds up in the stratosphere, probably close to 160. Then we could be possibly looking at negative interest rates. But the more I look at the negative interest rates, the more I realize it's nothing more than cannon fodder. It really, it's all baloney. I don't, you know, no one's ever explained it to me that it works that way. So shucks i'm not going to worry too much about it let's move on here just a minute and we'll see what's going on here uh, with a couple of things uh, so we talked about the piggies we talked about the stuff that grows as high as an elephant eye uh, oh another one looks real interesting here especially when we're looking at these uh, hold on just a second here oh i've got a i've got a message coming in from mr monley Cy monley so just bear with me a second here and we want to see what's going on. Uh, okay. Okay. We had a uh, had a pretty good day yesterday at the Old Pueblo, so we'll see uh, what's going on with uh, some of these things. Uh, hold on. Uh, hold on just a second. I have to answer something and then... Okay, just a second. Oh, oh dear. 20. Boy, these prices are sure different than they were the other day. Uh, wait. <laughs> Handles wrong. Holy cow. Hey, someone's asking the question uh, about the. Uh, 
the, the move down that we had yesterday, is that the start of something big? I believe that it is, but you don't really know for sure. I want to share with you a really, really great chart from Mr. Z here in the den that he sent to us. And this is, this is really, I think, a description of whether you think it's for real or not. Let's just get this up here, and we'll bring up here to see it. Uh, this is a S&P 500 chart going back to March. And if you notice the first red arrow, that high that was made there, and you notice the second red arrow, which was the low of yesterday at uh, 29.50. Oh, shucks, I got those prices wrong. Uh, anyway, that held. Now, if we get below that, that's going to be really negative. In other words, if we take out those lows of yesterday, that's going to be relatively negative. So uh, pay, uh, you know, pay s sort of attention to that because that'll be something that is really. I've got a, I got, I made an error, folks. So just a second, just a second, uh, just a minute. Oh, I got it. Oh, I can't write. Uh, just a second. I'm trying to do two things at once, folks, and that is. Uh, Wow. Okay, we'll be right back. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm trying to do too many things at once, and walking and chew gum is not my strong point. We'll be right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of tfnn.com under Trading Newsletters. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
right, we're back, folks. I've posted the chart that we talked about last week, and that is the natural gas. Uh, it's really spot on. And uh, what we're looking at here is uh, a move. Uh, we missed the actual bottom by a dollar. Uh, it's rallied uh, $2,500 uh, the last three days. And so uh, watch this for a potential pullback, folks. It could be really, really interesting here in natural gas. This is a long-term chart going back, uh, you know, many, many years, well, three years, four years. And so there's major, major support down there at that 210 level. And we hit 211 and uh, had a heck of a rally so far. But let's let's keep an eye on this one. This is one that looks really good uh, from a technical standpoint. Remember, this is all technically based. It has nothing to do with the fundamentals or the news or, you know, anything like that. That's not, uh, that's not uh, what we're really watching here. So let's Let's uh, keep that on our watch list for sure. Uh, the next one I wanted to bring to your attention, mainly because it's related to lunar cycles quite heavily, and that is the uh, wheat. Uh, here we are. We're in, over the zone of the new moon. And as you can see, we're we're uh, trading almost. Well, we are trading exactly at the 61% retracement here uh, in the wheat today. So your amount of money that you have to risk on this would be, uh, you know, relatively small if you uh, wanted to take a look at it. You can see the nice A B C D pattern. It's a perfect Gartley. Uh, looking at it closely from the 20th of July, it's also a three drive to a bottom pattern. So that's another one that looks, uh, you know, really, really interesting to see uh, what's going on. Uh, by the way, folks, the phone lines are really jammed today at TFNN, so keep trying to call in. I mean, it's just uh, the whole the waiting time is about. 45 minutes so if you can get in you know give it a shot and we'll try to answer your questions uh, if we can and that's what we're taking a look at um, the question that people are asking me was this a major top in the stock market all I know is it was a top I don't know if it's a major top I don't think you're going to know that until you know you see something a little more dramatic because all it did was the Dow was down 400 you know that's not too much what the what the Nasdaq did is what we were expecting if you look at it and you can do this yourself like 21 says the five human nature do the work yourself go back to see what the market did in the past and just look at it forward if you went back and looked at the Nasdaq the biggest drop we'd had between May and uh, June and July was uh, 150 points well you take 150 times 1.618, and that gets you to, guess what, 250, and it dropped 260. So it had a nice rally after that, too. Let's uh, move on a little bit about that, that number. Uh, back in 1987, I was on the TFN, a TF uh, Financial News Network uh, in w WKHY in uh, Los Angeles with Ron and Sana. Sue Herrera, Bill Griffith, John Bollinger, Ed Hart, and I was a regular. I'd get on every two weeks with uh, Bill Griffith, and he loved astrology, still does. And uh, I, I was saying that sometime in the month of uh, October, we would have a drop in the Dow Jones of 300 points. And he, you know, they had not seen a 300 point drop in the Dow Jones before. The biggest drop that we had 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 been uh, one, uh, 180, 180 points, I believe, sometime in July of 87. And all I did was multiply that number times 1.618. And, of course, it was down 550 points that day. But it, it did go down more than the 300 that, you know, we thought it was going to do. We'll have to wait and see. Ruby's telling us now that the initial breakout for a rally. I don't know if the uh, – Ruby, you can tell me whether the hogs have hit that uh, – 70 level in the uh, the uh, December hogs because that's where uh, it looks like it would be a buy. You wouldn't have to risk much stopping at 69.40. You're down six days, so you got probabilities on your favor because it's extremely uh, oversold. So uh, and not only that, but you got the lunar cycle, and you know I like that lunar cycle, especially when we have Mercury going direct like we did on the 31st. And then we got that new moon, so there should be some pretty good cycle things, you know, happening uh, in some of these 
other things besides the ones that are that are occurring in the uh, <laughs> oh gee which you have to love this stock market man oh lie look at it moves 50 points in the s p and, and the nasdaq in just a matter of a second so you guys you have to love it okay let's move on here and uh, we want to talk about the bonds here a little bit folks uh, watch these de de december bonds because they're going to be really interesting when we get to those levels here of uh uh, the uh, <laughs> hold on just a second. I'm trying to do too many things at once, and it's just not working the way that I want it. So hold on, just a second here. Uh, I'm answering I'm, what I'm doing, folks. Is I'm answering questions uh, at the same time that I'm trying to talk, and that's always uh, pretty good. So we're having a, a night, the market just opened. We had a night. The S and P's rallied 10 points. The Nasdaq has rallied 50, 60 points. And remember, these are big moves that we're having now, folks. And we're having a thousand and two thousand point moves. So that's not uh, that's not unusual. So we want to you know pay close attention to those uh, as we see them happening. This is. Uh, uh, this is a type of action that we really, really hope for. So I, I think it's uh, important that we we pay uh, pretty close attention to it anyway, for sure. Uh, the the overnight lows that we made last night. Uh, it, Fact is, if you let's just quickly look at this from a Fibonacci standpoint here in the S and P to see what our numbers are, and we'll just look at the hourly chart here. We're going to see what the rally back should be. Right now, we had a high at 30.30. We went down. We dropped 80 handles all the way down to 29.55, and all we've done so far is make a 3.82 retracement of that move. Now, if we can get above 30.10, then what we might have had yesterday was a major bottom. And if we look at this on a daily chart. You know, we did hit uh, a really nice 61% uh, retracement of the low that we made, you know, back on uh, June the 5th. That was the number that Mr. Z was telling us about. It stopped. Uh, as, as a matter of fact, I think it stopped exactly at that number. It did. And that number was 29.50. So it stopped right where it should have. And now we're getting this uh you know, pretty big move happening. So we need to, uh, you know, watch what the action is going to be like here. So we'll be, uh, be be paying close attention to it as always. But when you see moves like this real early in the morning, folks, those are the algo trade, all algo trading people. And it doesn't take look in five minutes, folks, we went from 7860 to 7920. That's 60 handles or $1,500 in the uh, NASDAQ without a, uh, that's 30. That would be $1,500 in the S&P in, 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 without a down tick. I mean, just straight up. I mean, that's, that is all computerized buying. That's exactly what that is. So uh, not much you can, uh, unless, you, unless you have an algorithm program, and it's always nice to have one if you do. But those are just some of the things that you uh, need to uh, you know, pay uh, close attention to. Uh, so <laughs> someone's asked me, what's the most important thing that's happened over the uh, – the last, uh, you know, 72 hours or so since I was on last. Well, I think the main thing is, is that the stock market did stop at that three drive pattern that we looked at. Uh, uh, also, that the do the dollar index is doing a three drive pattern. That's very important. And we've got a lot of things happening in the grains, corn, wheat, and beans right over this uh, this new moon, plus the hog. So there's a lot of things going on that. Uh, you know, could mean a great deal. So let's take a break here, 877-927-6648. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. 
That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the Gold Report currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Directions Daily S&P 500 Bull and Bear Leveraged ETFs. Direction Leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour, next on TFNN. All right, folks, we're back, and we've been asked to talk about Christmas corn. And so we're going to talk about it for Russ. Here's uh, what we're looking at here. Uh, bring this up here. You'll be able to see it. Uh, we're over a, a new moon uh, as of yesterday. And uh, you'll notice here the 61% retracement in the corn is down at the 408 level. We should be pretty close to that this morning, I would think. Your risk is about six cents. That's where you uh, become a farmer at that level. Uh, folks, this is a perfect ABCD pattern. Uh, this is the pattern that Gartley talked about on page uh, 222, that when you see your first ABCD correction in a bull market, in a new bull market, you buy it. If you see your first ABCD correction in a bear market, you sell it. And that's what you're looking for. So uh, sort of pay close attention to that. It's going to be uh, interesting to see it unfold, whether it works or not. But we are over a major lunar cycle. If you look back there on May 13th, uh, right around that time, within a day or two, we had another uh, full moon occurring, and that was a, a major bottom, and that was right in the midst of uh, all the, the stuff before the rain came. Now, uh, the I haven't looked at the gold and silver folks, but we are we are in a bearish market, I believe, in gold and silver. Uh, we we covered that in the newsletter, of course. Uh, over the uh, weekend, and I'll get that gold chart. Oh boy, I think uh, think I've used it up. Yep, I have. But anyway, there's some support here in the gold at the uh, low that we made this morning around 14.10, 14.12. We're now trading around 14.17. Silver's uh, had a lot of resistance, folks, up at that 16.60 uh, uh, level. That was a 61% retracement on the long-term weekly chart. Uh, platinum had great resistance at the 892. We sold all the way off. 
to 855 in the platinum, but uh, they're holding. I mean, you know, the, the open interest is still positive in the gold market. Uh, you know, even on the sell-offs, you got people coming in uh, willing to buy it, which is actually uh, pretty good. Now, what I'll try to do tomorrow is I'll focus more on the gold and silver, but today I wanted to focus uh, primarily on the currency, the stock, and uh, a little bit of bonds, and of course the uh, the grain markets, because the grain markets are affected by these lunar cycles quite a bit. Uh, if you ever want to read about some of that stuff, read uh, Andrew Lowe's book, The Evolution of Technical Analysis. It was written by uh, Bloomberg Press, and it's really a very good book. Uh, in the first 50 pages of it, Dr. Lowe describes that the first technicians, you know, were astrologers. Speaking of uh, technical things, it was a really interesting uh, chart here that was sent to me by uh, Rich Anderson. And it shows the relationship between uh, technicians and the fundamentalists. And as you can see here, uh, whether this chart is right or not, I don't know. But this shows the performance relative to market of the strong buys on CNBC's uh, show uh, for with Yahoo numbers. And you can see here that the technical analysis uh, seemed, at least during this uh, time period, that it's looking at that certainly outperformed the fundamentalists. And remember, the fundamentalists are those are the bean counters, folks. Those are the ones that are looking at every penny, every soybean uh, pod, and all the kernels of corn, and all that stuff. Uh, Ruby's asking a question about the hot chocolate. Just give me a second here, Ruby, and I'll be happy to bring it up for you. And uh, there's the cocoa. Let me get this up here so we can see it. We're at major support here. Uh, I don't. I haven't updated it, Ruby, so I don't know. Oh, shut the front door here. There we go. There we go. Has major support at uh, that 2360 level. I don't know if it's if it's held that level this week or not because I've just been too busy looking at everything. But look at your chart, Ruby. And as long as we're holding above 2360, it looks pretty good. It's short term. It's very oversold, which is really good. So to me, it looks like the thing is uh, it's at 2328 right now. That's a little lower than uh, what I would expect it. Let's take a Let's review that for just a second here. See, 2328 breaks you down. Ooh, that's a lot. Yeah, you're down. Well, you're you're where you are, Ruby. You're right at the 78% level of the low that we made back in May. We took out that downtrending line there, which is not unusual because that Gartley would have failed. Uh, so 2328 is right at that line. So if you're going to do it, you don't have to risk very much here. Your stop would be below, right below uh, the uh, 2290 uh, level. So you're risking really a small amount uh, right here. And remember, now you're down, you're down two and a half weeks from the high. So if you want to take a look at cocoa, this is the place to do it. I. Uh, th th right there, you know, I, I thought it might break 2360, which it did. And we're at 2328. You're only talking a few hundred dollars. So, at 2328 and the stop at 2790, you're certainly not looking, uh, you know, too much to do. Here's the coffee. Uh, since Ruby likes to look at coffee, we've been able to take a look at this, you know, be able to see it. Uh, the coffee's right down to this level, 98 that uh, we've been talking about for several weeks. I saw it cross the tape this morning at 98, and I, I'm not even, uh, uh, not even involved in the coffee market other than having a cup of joe once in a while. So those are just some of the things that we're, uh, that we're watching here. So let's uh, keep a close eye on some of these things as we watch these markets unfold today. Um, the folks on the Treasury bonds, just to get off the, the beaten path a little bit, the 78% retracement on these Treasury bonds, and it's I think it's an important number you know, to pay uh, close attention to, is up around the 156.16 uh, level. So let's just make sure that is the right number. Let's get this uh, for our – yep. Yeah, that's where we are. Well, actually, it's right there right now, 156.11. So we're right near that spot number in the Treasury bond. So we'll see if that's going to be the uh, that's going to be the case or not. So we'll be watching it uh, for sure because it's got a really good probability here of uh, of uh, you know turning down. Uh, sometime today or tomorrow, because these, if you if you listen to Bloomberg this morning, uh, Mohammed El Arian, you know the fellow that used to be with, uh, um, oh I can't remember the guy's name from Fiber or oh dear, uh, 
Uh, anyway, he said that the Federal Reserve is always lagging the market. So, Bill Gross, thank you so much, Mr. Bill. Uh, yeah, Bill Gross, and uh, it, that the Federal Reserve is lag lagging behind the market, which is true, and it's all political stuff. So you don't need to, you know, to really need to look at that stuff. So that's uh, that's neither here nor there. So that's what we're watching here today, folks, and we'll be able to see what's going on here pretty soon, and uh, we'll see how Walter is doing out there in the back 40. Uh, we're in the midst of uh, – uh, hold on one second, folks. We're in the midst of uh, a monsoon season here now, folks. So what we'll do is we'll probably run into some uh, problems with uh, uh, data and stuff because when the storms come, they're really, really violent. So that's it. Well, we're almost due for a break here. And then tomorrow we'll be back on. Next week we'll have some guests on. Hopefully we'll have Bill Meridian on and we'll, have, uh, we'll do our best to get uh, – Mr. Uh, uh, Winsky on, so we'll be able to uh, see that. But we'll take a break here, 877-927-6648. Uh, I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 six and three months timer digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well the fact is markets can be timed and i'll teach you the exact set of tools that i use that has transformed me into one of the best at what i do sign up for mastering probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where i take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. sign up today if you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. 
For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, someone was able to get through on the lines. Alan from Las Vegas is there. Alan, how you doing, buddy? All right, Larry. You're hey, going to so tell I, us I about did try, Bed, I did uh, try the, um, not the Beyond Meat, but their competitor, Impossible. Burger King's got what they call the, the Impossible Whopper, and you can't tell the difference. It's, it's delicious. You actually can't tell the difference between a Whopper original and a Whopper vegan? Nope, you can't tell. You can't tell by taste, by sight. It, mm -hmm. There's no way in the world. This stuff is here to stay, so I'll be the first to tell well, you. Well, I'll tell you, to a guy that eats meat three times a day, it's going to be interesting, but uh, it can't be good for you with all those chemicals and stuff, can it? I mean, well, you know. yeah, that's that's the only issue. you got to be a little wait and see how that goes, but you want to go over there. It's like it's a $6 burger, but it's give it a try. It sound like a commercial, is, but no, that's okay. Is it uh, is it that what they usually run? The vegan burgers run about six bucks. That's what it was. Yeah. Okay, well, that's close enough, I guess. So hey, that's good. Hey, listen, when you see Bob, tell him I said hello, would you? Okay. Okay, thanks a lot for calling in, Alan. I really appreciate it. I've right. known Alan for many, many years, and when I get to Vegas, I always try to uh, to visit with him. So we'll keep an eye on these uh, these things. I know this stuff sells for like 200 bucks a share, doesn't it, Alan? I mean, that's a pretty high price for a yeah, for a hamburger. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but I can see I can see the potential in it. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's very good. All right. Hey, listen, thanks for calling right. in. I really appreciate it, Alan, and uh, have a good sure weekend. Right. You bet. Okay. Okay. Uh, by the way, folks, we did make a top in crude oil up there at that 58.50 uh, level. That was a 61% retracement. We're now trading uh, $2,000 uh, below that level. Uh, you know, we've sent a video out on that uh uh, last uh, Friday, uh, it, it occurred on Monday, and uh, it's actually doing its actually had its first two dollar break. So we're at the first level of support now in this. So we need to, uh, you know, pay close attention to it. 